New information tonight on an I-Team investigation a month in the making. Memorial Day weekend, we told you about a Michigan State Trooper responding to a potentially deadly domestic situation in cold water. He ran a stop sign and T-boned a husband and wife. The woman spent a week in the hospital. People who live in the neighborhood started contacting us, saying that trooper came tearing through without his lights or his sirens on, and they believe state police are covering, covering it up. We have finally obtained a copy of the dash cam video and Jared Worksma joins us live in studio with some long awaited answers. Jared. Yeah, Kate, the uh, trooper involved is not being identified, but state police investigators told us right away the trooper had his lights and sirens on, but was still found at fault and will be disciplined. But for those who believe there's some kind of cover up, that's not good enough. So when we got the dash camera video in Lansing this afternoon, we took it straight to the victims to watch together. In the process, we uncovered a larger issue. We'll keep, we'll the first time we saw the crash video, our reactions were intense. Oh. And this is what we saw. A terrifying jolt for Rosemarie and Reed Waffle. We had gone to a graduation party for my husband's nephew. Next thing I knew, I remember Reed saying, oh my gosh, Rosemarie, are you all right? Were you quite concerned? Oh well, yeah, she, she couldn't she couldn't breathe. And I'm thinking the car is going to catch on fire. Luckily, the trooper stays focused and training takes over. 5-0, I've been in a wreck. He calls in the crash and checks on the victims. After getting cut out of her crumpled car, Rose Marie learned just how extensive the injuries were. I have four, probably five broken ribs. I have fractures in the top of my foot. I had a torn spleen. I was in the hospital for five days. And while she was in the hospital, we were getting calls. Have you seen or heard any of the, the controversy about people saying he didn't have his lights and sirens on? Well, yes, we have. She says her hairdresser saw the trooper speeding down Hudson just seconds before the crash. Now, she said she didn't know if the siren was on. She really, she knew the light was on. She says another acquaintance didn't see the crash but heard it. He said the siren came on after the collision. Which is true. If we listen to the crash... You don't hear the siren until six seconds after. But if we back up to the beginning of the video, the trooper turns on his siren as soon as he turns on to Hudson, and you can hear the siren all the way to Hull Street. It only shorts out after the impact. Now that is the uh, bigger issue there. MSP says it's been having electrical problems with its 2010 and 2011 Dodge Chargers, which could explain why the siren shorted out temporarily after impact. MSP says it is working with Chrysler to find a solution, but in the meantime, there are strict rules in place for troopers involved in emergency responses. If at any point they lose lights and sirens, they must end their response. Well, uh, Kate and uh, Andy, back to you guys.